How do you think a Muslim should react to dating before marriage? And uh, whether in Hadith there is any punishment to sodomites, lesbianism, uh, the, any mention like that? That was the question. That is dating allowed before marriage? And is there any punishment for sodomy? Sodomy and lesbianism. Is there any punishment? As far as uh, sodomy and lesbianism is concerned, it's totally haram. Allah says in the Quran that do you prefer in lust men over women? Means telling to the men that are you going after men rather than women? Talking about kamilut. Kamilut. So it's haram in Islam. And lesbianism or homosexuality is haram. And even involving with children, there are hadith is totally haram. There is no permission. Coming to dating in Islam, dating if you're talking about the modern style like what people do, what we think dating, that is not allowed. Going and meeting a girl outside, going to the garden alone with her and seeing whether, trying and finding out what are her views and going to a movie and sitting on the last bench. Going to a movie is wrongly was at last bench. So the thing is that, that all these things, practices that are prevalent normally, is not allowed in Islam. There's nothing like love before wedding. LBW. In LBW, you haven't created nothing in, like love before wedding. But fine. But the Prophet also said that it is a sunnah, it is preferable to look at the girl you're going to marry. Like there was one of the sahabas who told the Prophet, I'm going to get married. The Prophet, did you look at the girl? He said, no. He said, go and look at her. So that doesn't mean you cannot interact with her, that you cannot select, that you cannot choose. The Prophet said that when you have to choose a life partner, there are four things in which a person looks at. One is virtue, second is wealth, nobility and beauty. And the best is virtue. So that means you can. If there is a proposal, if someone gets to you or you find and you come to know, fine, you can have a meeting with the would-be spouse, the girl, the would-be husband, the boy, the would-be wife. But when you meet, there should be a mahram along with you. Either the boy's sister or the girl's brother. Because the Prophet said that if two foreign males, na mahram, alone in a closed room, the third person is the devil. So maintaining the modesty, maintaining the hijab level, surely you can meet the would-be husband or would-be wife, interact, exchange views, find out the views, no problem. Speak once, twice, thrice, one hour, two hours, no problem, but not in seclusion. Not outside in a garden alone or in a movie theater or going to McDonald's, fine. So within the purview of the Islamic Sharia, you can surely meet, you can choose, you can reject. You can reject and go and look for another one, but within the purview of the Islamic Sharia. So if it's done within, there's no problem. It is preferable, it is the sunnah. So this is what you call this dating, it's allowed. Islamic dating is allowed. Non-Islamic dating is not allowed. If you call it a dating. Hope that answers the question. My question is, did Jesus actually go to the cross or was he saved from ever having any of the pain?